Yo, 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 you know, we live in the building, man, doing our thing like we always do every Saturday, man. You know, it's Fusion Radio, another episode with your boy YTS and my boy Brian Stenson, man. So, like I told y'all, we got a lot of great artists coming through, you feel me? But right now, this ain't the artist that we got coming through, fam. you feel me? We got a, we got my boy in the building, you feel me? And when I say my boy, this my brother. This somebody that come from the same place I come from, you feel me? He look at the world the same way I look at it. So, today... I got my boy Ton in the building. And Ton, he own his own business, you feel me? He got his own clothing brand, which is called O'Shea Apparel. So today, we got my boy Ton in the building. We talking about what he got going on. How you doing today, my boy? What's going on? What's popping? For sure. So first off, I want to start this out with, you feel me? You got your own clothing brand, you feel me? And then you come from where I come from. So it's like, first off, before we start off with the name, I just want to start off with talking about, like, how did you even come up with the whole idea of starting a clothing brand? Mm, I always been like, I always been in the fashion, fashion for it since I was like a shorty, and uh, like how I came up with the brand, it's like, like the logo basically, like the man holding the bag, it's like no, like you know we we used in school they teach you like like social studies, it was a minute ago, like a man that go around and like with the with the with the bag and try to find money, like back in the day type thing, not even find money, but like find food to feed their family, so basically the, it ain't nothing, really nothing in the bag though, it's just like the bag. With the money saying, but the hope to find the money is like out out domestic to get the money though, to feed the family. So basically, that's that's how I started though, stuff like that. Just wanted to build my own brand. For I've sure. been in the fashion. For sure, for sure. So the name O'Shea Apparel. So like, I know what it stands for and stuff like that. But for the people that's listening and stuff like that, just break it down for because um, you know O'Shea that's an acronym. You feel me? So just tell the people what O'Shea stands for and like what it means to you. Yeah, optimistic, survival, hustling always, basically. Uh, O'Shea can be anybody, like person working nine to five, uh, um, entrepreneur, like somebody that's trying to um, get money. Like it can be anybody. Like there's nobody specific, but it can be for anybody though. So man, I'm sitting here and like man, uh, definitely man, uh, thank you again, man, for my gift, man. I'm definitely gonna wrap it, man, and everything. Uh, so man, I'm sitting here and I'm listening, and I'm like, man, like define your your day to day roles and responsibilities, because I'm believing that somebody that may want to start their own brand and start their own business. Um, you gonna help them out? Um, like far as like, um, like when I'm designing certain things, designing certain things, just like all responsibilities when it comes to you as far as running your own business. Take us through a typical day. Um, I mean, if I'm probably designing something particular, like a certain item, I gotta like um, find a specific like the product, like not the product, but the material basically to start it off with, because everybody like different materials and. Some material is better than others, so I start with the material. Then I already got my logo, so I try to incorporate my logo with different um, items, and I might start it off like that, really. And then, how long did it take you to actually get your brand, you know, what I'm saying, off the the, you know, off the ground? It's been it's been a minute. I started. I mean, I really like started like when I was saying like I did the logo type thing and started the name. It was a minute, maybe um, probably almost like 2014. Like me and my homies, we had. We had uh, went out and like had some logo jackets and made it. Uh, my my boy on uh, Sea Baby, he, he be he be telling me like keep going with it. So like I I kept going with it though. But it been a minute though. I had stopped, and then he be talking crazy. Always talking crazy to me to keep doing it. So I end up I, I stay with it. So I want to build on two things because like here at this radio show, number one we like to laugh, and number two we like to educate. Yeah. So I heard two things in there. Uh, number one is clap it up to you because you're coming up on 10 years, man, a whole decade next year. Yeah. Number two is, uh, man, what type of trash he be talking to you, man? Like, keep it clean. Like, give us something, <laughs> something that we can sit back here and laugh yeah. about uh, that he be talking about to motivate you to keep he, going. You want a percentage. You think he should, you like, should ignite. <laughs> <laughs> you want a percentage of the business, but that's my boy, though, man. He be talking crazy. It's motivation, though. That's how your friend's supposed to do, like my brother, man. That's how, they, that's how they're supposed to do it, though. Build down. It's to the point where he got us all in the hood wearing it, though. Like, it's to the point where that's that's our brand. You feel me? It's broke brand, but it's like we take a different type of approach to it. Like, we make sure that we we, we support, bro. We buy his clothes and stuff like that. Because it's not like we just support it because he just our homie. He actually got good clothes, though. They actually look good. So it's like, why not support a black-owned business, especially when you know the person? You feel me? So it's like... Yeah, that's why, like, a couple videos, like, I make sure, like, in my last video, I had an outfit that said O'Shea, you feel me? Because it's, like, that's the brand we trying to push. I'm trying to, we trying to help, bro, get to that point. Because I'd rather put on O'Shea than Gucci, you feel me? Because I know where that comes from. I know the person. And then I know where the money going to, too. I'd rather put the money in bro pocket, you feel me? Then, 
when he gets to a certain point, when he be in those, these fashion weeks, when he be in Paris, coming up with all different type of stuff, you feel me? I'm gonna want him to throw me some free stuff. So you know, you gotta put it on that right now, though. <laughs> you know, you get, you get it for sure. <laughs> I heard that bad. So, I've only been really taking the sales for maybe like three or four years, though. Even though I had like started it back then, I've probably been taking them like more sales probably like the last three years, bro, for sure, though. Yeah. And, and so, what made you take it more seriously outside of bro uh, cracking jokes and? Uh, mm -hmm. Probably the, I mean, because more so it was something I always wanted to do, but the feedback too that I get from it, like, I mean, I mean, I know I like it, but to see the feedback from other people that really don't know me, and then, like I say, all my homies want to support me too, like, it, it encouraged me to keep going with it. Man. That's what's good, man. And think about it, he ain't got to go to the, he ain't got to go to the mall and buy clothes. He got his own clothes. <laughs> yeah, man, that's a dope feeling right there, man. So, man, like, has anybody ever had, like, something that they wanted you to customly design specifically for them? Yeah, a few of my homies, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if so, what was it? Um, specifically, probably, like, the last thing I got, like, was, like, a two-piece um, short set and a hoodie, like, a, like an orange piece. It's on my, on my old shed apparel page. It's, like, a two-piece orange short and, um, like, a hoodie piece yeah, with the old shed on the front. That's what's good, man. So um, check this out, right? I want you and Keith to talk. I'm going to hand you back the hat that you gave me. Not because I don't want it. Because he looked up like, what? He don't want it or something? Like, <laughs> no, let me clarify that. I need to live to see it. That's what I'm doing. All right, because he showed. He was on his phone. And you saw, he was like, what you mean you giving it back? <laughs> he had that look on his face like, what you mean you giving it back to him? <laughs> But you and Keys talk. I'm hand you that. Look at hold it up. Go ahead, Keys, man. Rap, rap with the top. So, um, what's coming next though? Like, I know because you didn't came out with different type of hats, different type of shirts. You feel me? Different type of fits and stuff like that. But what can we be in store for next when it comes to O'Shea up here? Um, I'm working on some um, some um, some jogger sets right now. But at this moment, yeah. From probably some old jackets, but some um, some old jogging suits for sure, though. Yeah, yeah. I I gotta make sure I get one because bro, them bound them up so fast and everybody else be bound them so fast. I'll be like, man, when when can I get one? Cause everybody be rocking them. I'll be like, man, y'all gonna let me get one? You feel <laughs> Cause it's like they actually comfortable clothes though, and they actually look good. Like like look at what he got on. Like that's all him right there. You feel me? So it's like when you think about that, then he got different type of forms of it too. Like how that Pacific hat say find a hustle. Like. You can't do nothing but respect that, like, you're supposed to get up every day and find you a hustle so you can do your thing. So, like, when you look at it like that from that standpoint, I could get behind something like that. For sure. I'm yeah, definitely. That's what I say. It's for everybody. Like, no, nobody specific. Like, it's for, it's for everybody just trying to make something out of nothing, basically. You know? So, you know what I love is, is that I knew that that was the right thing to do because I'm sitting here and I'm looking at it and the live audience can see it. Of course, the radio audience. Uh, they need to go to uh, search Brian Stinson on Facebook to be able to see it and everything. But, uh, man, I'm sitting here and I just see so much greatness coming from you, man. I so, like, that, bro. no doubt, man. So what's some goals that you have, Sam, man? You, you want to own a store that, you know, has it or do you want to sort of keep it where it's more or less keep it digital or whatsoever? Yeah, a store would be, a store would be nice, but more so, like, more custom pieces, too, though, like, a lot of red, like a regular, like original pieces that everybody can have, but more so custom pieces too. Like in just a few of them at a time, like maybe ten, and then something else like seasonal things. But I still do that now too, just make seasonal stuff. But like just specific pieces that only certain people can get, and then be a different price. No doubt, no doubt, man. And then, man, I want you uh, across this time that you've been doing this, man. Like list some accomplishments, man, of some different things that you're proud of, man, that we should know about. Mm. I mean, I did a pop-up shop before. That was pretty good. I mean, just the, the exposure that I get, like, in general, with more people buying it and, like, more people saying it is, like, what is good for me. So I want to uh, go back to that, man. Like, you know, there's some of us that's not educated on, like, the whole process of a pop-up shop, man. Take us to, you know, if you're... Um, you have your own brand and all that stuff. Like, what's that all about, man? Like, dumb it down for us so we can understand it. Uh, I mean, it'd just be like a lot of entrepreneurs basically in there selling stuff that they, maybe they even made, they sell for like brands like that. Like people was cutting, people were selling their food, people were selling clothes. It's like that's everybody trying to get their business off the ground for marketing purposes, really. Yeah, yeah cause I mean, that's a dope uh, situation, man. There's someone else that I know, man, is from out west that, um, man, has been a part of countless uh, pop-up shops, has been 
um, a mentor to, you know, those that's younger than him that um, have never done one and everything. Yeah. And, and sometimes I think people don't always know how, man, like that, I feel like expands your brand awareness to yeah. so many people when you do those. Yeah, that's big for marketing for sure. For, for any brand, really, not even for clothes, but like any type of like that's something you're trying to sell. Yeah. So I'm saying though, like, can I can I get a brand ambassador's deal or something? Man? Like I'm I'm trying to I need that though because I, I I rock the clothes for free though, but you feel me? I'm, I'm trying to we trying to put some business together though because like you know what's so crazy though. Matter of fact, I switch it though. You know what's so crazy about him though? He the reason why I got my LLC though, and I put my business together because I remember I was talking to bro. He was telling me about his clothes and stuff like that, and then you know we as us being friends and stuff like that. He, he know about my music, so it's like we sitting there chopping it up stuff and stuff like that. He told me one day, he was like, man, when, when you going to take it serious, though? Like, when you going to own your stuff and, like, do your business behind it, though? So that's crazy, though, now that I think about it. You are the reason why I got my LLC, though. So as far as, like, the clothes and, like, what you want to do, like, how, like, how big do you want to? I know you want to get it to, like, the biggest it could be, like, but what's the stages that you feel like you got to start off at as far as, like, okay, you start off in this store or, like, or you start messing with this type of brand, where do you think you want to go as far as like your direction, where you want to take those shit up here? I'm just like, I just, probably just making good quality in, until the right person see it basically more than anything. Like just good, keep making good product to the right person see it, good mark, keep marketing it more than anything. Cause that's what I've been working on. I need more marketing so more people can see it though. Yeah, cause I'll definitely be telling you, man, you gotta get out there, you gotta put that out there, bro. Cause it's like, when you really think about it, it's not that many big brands as far as like a Pacific type of clothing line in Chicago, though. You feel me? So it's like what you having the, the type of brand that you got. I feel like you could have everybody in Chicago wearing those shit. I ain't gonna lie to you, cause like you said, it's not just specifically for us. It's for anybody, especially like if you a hustler, you you want to get you some money in, or you want to have a certain type of mindset when you figure out what O'Shea stands for. I feel like anybody could get behind that. For yeah, sure. Yeah. Cause it's basically for everybody. That's why I say it's like. Anybody that's trying to make some, trying to make some out of nothing, basically. That's what O'Shea basically is, bro, the whole time. For sure, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. I love when I get a chance to bring my people in and they share my platform and I get a chance to put them out there because that's what it all is. At the end of the day, we got to use these different platforms and use each other to push each other to these next, um, these next stages. So I know you said you got certain jogging fits and like stuff like that coming out. So when can we really expect that on um, to hit the market and stuff? I'm trying to get it done before Christmas for sure. Yeah, before Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely got to get that out there before Christmas. Mm -hmm. I gotta buy my shorty something, man. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna get them. I ain't buying no toys this year. I ain't, gonna <laughs> to I ain't buying no toys this year. I might buy a couple clothes or something. Um, let me see. Let me see. So outside of O'Shea Apparel, though. What's some other things that you want to do, though? Because, like, you know, with you having O'Shea, just O'Shea Apparel, you know, you can end up turning that to other things, too, though. So, like, outside of the clothes, what's some other things that you're interested in that you want to do? I mean, I mean, I love to help some, like, one of them, uh, one of them, it used to be a field house, like, when we were young, but, like, one of them, somewhere with kids can come in that beach so they can stay out the streets type thing. That's what, that's what the city need on something, for real, for real, though, like, one of them. Kids can come in and play basketball. We used to have when we was young, kind of so instead of they being outside, like to stop the violence, all that type of. To be to be honest though, like you gotta say the kids. You can't say it no grown people, but you can say the kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy though, cause whole time you, we could really do that though, cause like based off what O'Shea stand for, we could end up spinning that into something like that though, on a yeah, low key tip though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. We definitely got to sit down and map that out, though, because I like that idea. I like that a lot, the whole time. Cause have a basketball team for the shorties, man. Get an AAU team or something, man, and have them O'Shea, have them O'Shea it out. Put them in the AAU team. I don't know. If, who we going to put on the team, though? Because uh, <laughs> little they, they like to play football. Yeah, we get, I don't we know get if a football could. team. We get any type of team. Tennis team, whatever. We We can do, we can work. We can we incorporate all what you got going on and do something you know what I'm saying? We can you know what I'm saying? we can do it all like that. Exactly, man. Definitely. I def I ain't gonna lie, one of these days I'm gonna have me my own little my own little YTS O'Shea apparel, you feel me? Ain't nobody else gonna have it. It's just gonna be just me. I'm gonna and I ain't gonna tell nobody either. I'm gonna just pop out with it. They gonna be like they gonna be mad too though. Man, we all get that together. 
For sure. Mm. So, like, before we get up out of here and stuff like that, just tell people, like, where they could uh, find the clothes, where they could find you and stuff like that, where they could tune into your movement and stuff like that. Because, like I said, you these these are good-looking clothes. They now, And I'm not just saying that because I'm your homie. I'm actually saying it because I wear the clothes. I, I, You feel me? I'll be around it. And a lot of people be telling me, like, man, where you get that from? Like, where, where, where I could buy that? So just tell the people where they could find your clothes and where they could get up with you at. Yeah, O'Shea, O'Shea Apparel, O-S-H-A Apparel on Instagram. You can follow me on Facebook, but I ain't even on that right now. But follow the Instagram. You come, come chop it up with me, man. For sure, man. That's yeah, good deals. I look out for my customers, man. We just we're trying to make everybody look. You look good. You feel good. You work good. It's like Deion Sanders say, man. <laughs> yeah, we look out for people too, though, on the prices. But at the same time, y'all pay Gucci all that money. Y'all could pay my man's what he looking for too, though. You feel me? We ain't we ain't trying to go over nobody here. But at the same time, we still there's still a business, though. We still trying to make some money behind it, though. So that's what I'm talking about, man. I ain't gonna lie. Today been a good day. We always have a good day when we come in. We talk to these different people and stuff like that, different businesses and different artists. But yeah, man, we finna go ahead, take a break real quick, probably let y'all listen to a couple of songs, and then we gonna get back into this last interview with my boy Swink, man. We live in fact in the building, you feel me? YTS Keys, Brian Stenson, Fusion Radio. <laughs> 